Hello, this is Reza from Visual Components. I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, we will talk about the mapping tool. Mapping refers to the process of applying a texture to a 3D object using UV coordinates. It determines how a 2D image is wrapped around a 3D model. I have a few basic shapes here and also a little bit more irregular shape. So I would like to project the UV mapping and see what is the result there. It's an own 3D file, but feel free to use any 3D file on your side. Let's go to modeling tab. And first of all, I go to tools and assign a material. So as you see, you can set material for a set. Collection of sets make a feature or then you can also apply material to a link and then a whole component also. Let me go to take a plywood layer here, for example, or on this one. Now you can see that the material is applied like a color on the texture over here. The mapping is essential for ensuring that the texture appears correctly on the model by controlling the aspects like scale and orientation. So in this example, I have applied it, but you can see the scale could be better. I go to tools and then mapping. Now you see that this cylindrical shape appeared over there. The modes for texture mapping are spherical, cylindrical and planar. So if I grab this cylindrical shape, bring it on top of here and set the material on this component, I press OK. Now it just made the whole geometry over here to be a primitive geometry. So I look at the left side. Now you see the cylinder. If I click on it, it's all same geometry. Click on the component, go to component properties, and in case now I change the radius of this, for example, to 600, nothing changes. This is not anymore a primitive geometry, but a new geometry created without possibility to scale it. And as you can see now, the texture is applied on the surrounding of this with a little bit better scaling. If I activate the mapping tool again, Apply. So basically I click on the component and then the texture is applied. So now if I grab this Z axis and start to move this cylinder, you can see that texture is now being applied and it is basically projected on the surface. Now if I make some angle, you can start to see a little bit of different shapes. And since this is with some angle. It's basically coming from the surrounding angle and projected on the surface of this cylinder. And if I bring it back, you can see from up here that when the Z axis of the cylinder, which is this direction right now, starts to match the Z axis of the component, this texture up here looks stretched so you can see now it's getting more and more stretched and then at some point it starts to disappear on the surface on the top so maybe if i apply the texture in this way it's even better and the texture is pretty small over here so let me just change the length to a little bit bigger value 400 maybe that's a little bit better texture now I could also make this exactly as the same size as was the cylinder. So let's say 500 by 300. Or actually 500 by 300 diameter. Or for something like that. I could also actually grab the donut and put it over here and then rotate RZ. 
180. I could also rotate the object 180 along x axis. And to save this, press close button. And now if we go to apply the texture on this cube, tools, assign, and I go to user define, I have some image over here, I have also a material with a logo. So basically you can create your own material using add new, set a name for your material, set the values for texture blend. You can add a texture using an image. If I go back to the one that I set, material, right click, I can edit this. So texture blend, if I preview the material, you can see this is how it looks like right now. I could also change the roughness. You can see that the surface is changing. More metallic or less metallic. Opacity, it will hide the material if we decrease it to zero. So this is the current settings that I will use to create my material. The bump map is basically this roughness on the surface. So now it's full. If I decrease it a little bit, it will have smoother surface. When you're done with it, press done and then apply the material there. Now again, you see that the logo is applied there, but that's not how we want it actually. How I would like to have it is using the tools, mapping, and then I go to planar mode. You can see now this plane is over there. I grab the donut, bring it here on the surface, and then I apply the material. So we have a width, we have a height, and we have a U tiling and V tiling. U tiling is how many times the texture is applied horizontally and V tiling how many times the texture is applied vertically. Now the width and height of this logo, I could just change that, make the width, for example, 500 and then make the height 300. You can already start to see something. So I would just rotate this 90 degrees and bring the logo over here. Of course, you can also increase the sizes, so make it 800 and 500. Something like that. So now I have the logo, but I could also apply it only on the front, not on the whole component as it is now. Of course, I could also a little bit change this to deshape it as you wish. What I could do is also, for example, to use slice tool and have the logo here only in the middle. So if I click over here, what I could do is to collapse features and then I could go to tools and use the slice tool, I could click on this surface and then slice it with 100 offset or actually 50 minus offset, minus 50 is somewhere here, slice. Then I would go again to the slice tool slice, click on this middle component again, slice and on this middle component again slice okay 
Now I have this surface in the middle. I can go to Tools, Mapping, bring the map over here, make the angle 90 degrees turned, and you click on this surface in the middle and make this 500 by 300 and then you can start to relocate it until you are happy with the rest of the material. Press close and what we can do then if you want some other material on the surrounding then, then just go to assign and then library for example you can make the rest to be aluminium. Something like that. Now, for the spherical shape, I could go to Tools, Assign, User. I have this photo as material, so I'll click on the material and apply it here. You can see already it is applied, but it's not so uniform shape. But if I go to Mapping Tool again and select Spherical, and preview diameter is 500. So I will grab it and I can bring it here in the middle. Now it's on the surface. But what I could do is to bring it to the center of my spherical shape and then apply the set. Again, it's asking that some features need to be collapsed in order to apply the texture coordinates. And of course, I would like to continue. And now if I start to take this around, now it starts to apply the texture a little bit differently. Now it's a bit more obvious than applying the texture without the mapping tool. You can, of course, also rotate this to the level that you want and have your image here on the surface wrapped around this spherical shape. Press close. What if we have such irregular shape? What I would do is to click on this shape, go to features and bring in a transform, put it on the root and then put our component there. If I click on transform, and then I stretch this in Z to be 10 times more, we'll have such a shape. And now if I want to apply the texture over here, let's go to Tools, Assign, and then I can apply this image again. Something like that is now here on this shape. And now I go to Tool and Mapping, and I have spherical mode selected. So if I go over here, put it over here and press apply, you can see it has such a shape. If I start to move this, it's not what's the best or what it should be. Maybe cylindrical, also the same case here. But if I select planar shape, that is a little bit getting better. If I straighten the image, something like that. And then the width and height, if I change them to 700 and 500, and start to move this image around, then you can see that the texture is applied, that UV mapping is projected now. Our image is projected on the surface in a bit nicer way. Could also make it one meter by 700 and apply it over here. 
something like that and press close. Okay, this is what I wanted to review with you. Please go ahead and experiment with mapping tool on your side. Have a good day and bye for now.